Hello Aries, welcome to your June 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tarot page. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Aries, this is what we do here. We're going to divide the reading into sections so it is easier to understand what's going on. And we will look at the overall energy for the month of June for the sign of Aries before we go into your emotional core, see what the guys have to say about what, what can go, what needs to heal, or maybe there's love coming in before we then lastly go into opportunities. And opportunities, for the most part, are about um, what sustain, sustains you financially, if that makes sense, right? So, without further ado, let's get this show on the road. Let's have a look what you got for the overall energy for the month of June 2022 for the sign of Aries. Now remember Aries, you are the very first sign <clears throat> in the zodiac wheel. And because you are the first sign, one of your imprints is that you have problems reaching out because being the first sign, there's nobody co to call for, for help. And it can be a bit of a, of a problem when it comes to issues for you to actually reach out. Here's what the overall energy is like because you have um, communication is key. Well, self-explanatory, but that has to do with also understanding that you have an imprint, a, a, um, a character trait that doesn't co it doesn't come naturally to you necessarily to ask for help or guidance. It is normally sort of a maturity thing. The older you get, the more experience you have, the more you can trust your tribe, the more you will actually communicate that you are actually vulnerable. So communication is key this month. What they're saying to you for the month of June, really, really important, is to also be very clear about what it is you're actually saying and, and very clear about what it is you actually want and do not want. Really, really important. Because the other thing that you have here is, um, obviously it's just a phrase, and the phrase is your commitment is being tested. So what the guys are saying to you for the month of June 2022 for the sign of Aries. They're asking to you to look at whether whatever it is you are doing with your life is actually sustainable and not in a financial sense, but in an, in an emotional way. How invested are you and how much sense does that make to you to be invested in all this? And this is not, I have to say that here, this is not about a financial return of any sort. They're asking you to, to, to reflect on Am I in the right place? Am I doing with my life what I wanted to do with my life in the first place or what I want to do? Because now that you are reflecting on it, now is the time to actually make changes because when you are aware that you're maybe just following uh, old patterns that are no longer really working for you, maybe it is time to look at changes because when you have the sentence here, your commitment is being tested, then the universe will also throw you some curveballs so that you actually do pay attention to whether or not whatever it is you're doing makes an awful lot of sense to you. Okay, so that was your overall energy, short and short and sweet. And uh, for Aries here, I'm using the Monology deck that I'm not often using. I was just drawn to it, right? So I'm not using my Animal Guides deck for Aries. No offense to my Animal Guides. If they want to come in, they can. They can. They can come in. Right? <laughs> um. So anyway, cut a long story short, I'm using a different deck because I was drawn to it. And the deck is the, the, the Monology deck here. And that automatically denotes that this is going to be a month, June 2022, for Aries, where you will likely go through many phases of um, reflecting, how do I actually feel, all this kind of stuff, which brings us neatly to your emotional core. So... You have what is called work through your fears and bring love into the situation. This is how this works. While the guides are not giving me anything with regards to whether or not the love of your life shows up or whether, of, whether or not the person you are with um, is the love of your life <laughs> or whether or not you, you can bring this to another level, what you're getting here Aries, Aries, in the month of June is about understanding that you're still carrying emotional luggage, emotional baggage, baggage emotional pain, um, very likely from other relationships that you have been in or that you were in. And when it says here, work through your fears, 
interesting. They're giving us the um, the phase of a new moon in Scorpio. Well, at a new moon, the moon has no light. So you're operating in darkness and Scorpios have a, a, a big fight or flight um, tendency and they, 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 they decide on the spot which one is the better <laughs> option. The point they're making is in order for you to work through your fears, which is also about whether this is really about whether or not you allow things to continue while you're actually working through old stuff. Right? That's sort of what I'm getting. And what the guides are saying is it is not important whether or not you actually know exactly what you need to heal from, how this works is, if you have been in a relationship that has caused you any damage, any pain, um, that hasn't been fully released, the universe will send you a better, better version, <laughs> right? Because you learned and you said probably I don't want this anymore. So you get a bit of a better version of um, what you manifested before. But if there's anything that needs to be triggered in order for you to release it, the next or maybe the current partner has to have some traits that the partner had that caused the damage, if that makes sense, because it is in intimate relationships that we learn the most. Point would be, in this relationship, can we talk about it? Is that something that can be overcome, right? So there's a reason why um, we have sometimes in between people or we get um, relationships um, or we are in relationships that remind us a little bit of the other relationships, if that makes sense, uh, because that's how we how we ultimately learn to release our pain, hoping that the partner you're with or the partner you're going to be with can be of help getting that done. But the depiction is the new moon. And the new moon is literally a time when there is zero illumination. And they're saying to you is, you know, have a step in the dark about um, what you're going through and deal with it anyway. Do you have trust issues? Look into why Why is this? Is it that I can't trust the person I'm with? Um, or is it because whatever happened to me makes me a, a person that doesn't trust well? So reflecting, going within, uh, is the message here for the month of June 2022 for the sign of Aries. Now, you have bring love into the situation, which is quite, a, obviously, that just phrases. But what that means is because that depiction is the new moon, not the new moon, in Aquarius. Aquarius is the water bearer. So you're giving, but you're also pouring out. Water is renewal. So what they're asking you is while you're going through your emotional healing, your emotional pain, to not take it out on others and to not always assume worst case scenarios. Because when you're asked to bring love to the situation, then, you know, um, Express yourself kindly. And you know what? You can say to someone, I'm going through shit, right? And having you having you around at this point in time accurates me more. <laughs> right? And then to see how they re react to it. And maybe there's a there's a compromise that can be reached because uh, you know very likely the person that um is now your your uh, your partner um wants to be there for you, but sometimes it's about knowing how, if that makes sense, right? And it is important to remember that you are the first sign. It's the first sign because it doesn't necessarily come naturally or naturally to you to ask for guidance and advice. You may speak up quite late, if that makes sense. Also, Aries is what is called a progressive sign because back in the day when, when the stars were, were being mapped, um, you know, um, it was decided that all planets start at a uh, in 30 degree angles, if that makes sense. And so you're starting at um, <laughs> at the beginning. And so you're always in front. Um, you're going to these brave new worlds without having a roadmap. So you are by default very courageous. And when it comes to your healing from emotional stuff, be courageous. Try not to hide it. Try not to act as if you're okay when you're not. Right. So that's what I'm getting with regards to your emotions. Um, <clears throat> seems... Or felt a bit heavy, but not super heavy. It's just about acknowledging. And maybe you are just um, a typical Aries, which is always busy. Because when you're busy, you don't have time to look at what needs to be dealt with. Okay? Now, let's look at your opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of June 2022. Okay. 
Okay, it's it's not much. Well, it isn't. It isn't. <laughs> you have balance, spirituality, and practicality. But the depiction is the full moon in Pisces. Now, full moon means new beginnings, uh, super strength. Pisces means right. There's two fish, fish fishes that swim away from each other and then return. So there is this um, there is this issue of of you focusing on the opportunities that come to you. And when you are asked to be practical and spiritual, really it means like that we have two brain halves, right? So you have you have the analytical side and you have the spiritual side. And wherever there is more planetary movement, right, that uh, side would work better. And if it happened, uh, should it have happened in your birth chart, that there is more happening in your left-hand side, which is your, your brainy, your, your analytical side, um, then you're probably prone to overthinking, which which doesn't allow your spirituality to come through, which is why they're saying to you is you have to be conscious. If you are a very analytical person, then spiritualize your life, right? Make sure you combine the two. This is about understanding that there is no... There, you are not, You aren't two people. You are as spiritual as you are practical. And so if people cannot accept your spiritual side, screw them. They shouldn't be here then, right? Why would you need to hide, right? Why would you need to hide who you truly are? Especially if you spend time with someone that you agree to do, it makes no sense. So when it comes to opportunities, what the guides are saying is in order for you to actually attract what will stick, if that makes sense. You have to understand that you're more than just a one-sided being. And once you realize, um, I want to be balanced in who I truly am, right, and find how I tick and combine these elements, um, that will make you stronger and that will allow you to actually manifest um, proper new beginnings or proper opportunities, right? That was um, all we got for the month of June 2022. Now Aries, the energy was all about work. And I didn't mean work as in, as in what you work. It's, it's about understanding that this is not going to be, um, it's not a good month for Aries to, um, to do nothing. I understand it. It's June. If you have booked a holiday and you want to lie, lie, lie on the beach, that's fine. <laughs> but understand that, please. Your job in June is to figure out how you tick and how to get back to a more balanced version. Maybe the holiday would help. <laughs> but you understand what they're saying is, you know, you can, dis you can distract yourself easily, but does it solve anything? Not likely. All right then, guys. See you all next month. Bye-bye.